In recent years, Turkey has made rapid progress in its defense industry, particularly in naval and missile systems. One of the most significant developments is the Atmaka anti-ship missile developed by Roketsen. The announcement that the Atmaka has entered mass production is not only a milestone for a single weapons system, but also a demonstration of Turkey's growing self-reliance in defense, its ability to design and manufacture advanced missile systems domestically, and its emergence as a player in the global arms export market. The Atmaka project began in 2009 with the aim of equipping the Turkish Navy with a domestically developed anti-ship cruise missile. Prior to the Atmaka, Turkey relied heavily on foreign systems, particularly the US-made Harpoon, for its anti-ship capabilities. The development and integration of the KTJ-3200 turbojet engine, manufactured by Kale RJ, is Turkey's first domestically developed missile turbojet engine. These steps culminated in successful tests, including a live firing from the Corvette TCG Kineliada during the Seawolf Isiand 2025 exercise, in which the Atmaka destroyed its target with high precision. In addition, there have been significant developments expanding Atmaka deployment modes. For example, a submarine-launched version Capsule Atmaka, or Sub-Atmaka, was successfully tested from the TCG Preveze submarine in March 2025. Range, over 220 kilograms. Variants can reach over 250 meters depending on configuration. Army Recognition Search and Guidance uses a combination of GPS, inertial navigation, barometric, and radar altimeter. As an active RF seeker for maritime targets, Features include mission abort, target update, re-attack, and three-dimensional route planning. Low visibility, harchier sea skimming. The missile can fly very close to the sea surface, super sea skimming, reducing detection range and providing shorter reaction time for the enemy. Variants, naval launch, from surface ships, corvettes, frigates, using standard launchers. Submarine launch, via a capsule that allows for underwater launch, penetration and missile separation. Land-based, the Kara Atmaka version, capable of being launched from land platforms. Additionally, at IDEF 2025, a container launcher for the Kara Atmaka was unveiled, you enabling mobility and concealment. Engine. The KTJ-3200 is a domestically produced turbojet, a key component that reduces dependence on foreign systems or export restrictions. Mass production is not just about producing large numbers of units. In the context of the ATMAC-A, it means scale and consistency. A contract has been signed between the Turkish Defense Industries Presidency, SSB, and Roketsan for the mass production of the ATMAC-A along with other systems such as the Akya, heavy-duty torpedo, and the Sapan, air defense missile. This includes the production of missiles, subsystems, and spare parts. Initial announcements date back several years, e.g., in 2018, when the mass production contract for the Atmaka was awarded. Domestic production of critical components' reliance on foreign technology has become a vulnerability for Turkey. The development of the KTJ-3200 engine, first test in 2018, full domestic production is imminent, illustrates Turkey's commitment to creating a complete supply chain. Producing an anti-ship missile of this quality in-house gives Turkey greater control over its regional naval deterrence, the ability to produce, deploy, and upgrade Atmaka without the need for external suppliers enhances resilience. The Blue Homeland Doctrine, Turkey's naval strategic domain, is a context in which such a system is of immense importance. With atmac -A on ships, submarines, and land-based launchers, Turkey can threaten enemy surface vessels over the horizon, strengthening its maritime posture in the Black Sea, Mediterranean, Aegean, and potentially beyond. Submarine-launched capability adds the element of surprise and greater reach from a stealthy platform. As Atmaxia enters mass production, 
the Turkish Navy and its allies can deploy larger numbers. A fleet equipped with such numerous missiles forces adversaries to consider the significant risks of surface operations near Turkish shores or in disputed maritime zones. This increases the cost of naval operations near Turkish waters. Export, Impact, and Defense Diplomacy The Joint Production Agreement with Indonesia demonstrates that Turkey is not only exporting missiles, but also engaging in industrial cooperation and building defense partnerships. Such an agreement increases geopolitical influence and could lead to standardization with partner navies in the region. The industrial know-how and capabilities required to produce ATMAC, engines, guidance, seeker technology, warhead integration, low radar signature, etc. also enhance Turkey's broader defense industrial base. This expertise could be used for future missile systems, UAVs, and air-launched cruise missiles, shifting regional military balance. Countries in the Mediterranean, Aegean, Eastern Mediterranean, etc. will likely consider Turkey's increasing missile inventory and capabilities into their naval and air strategies. This could spur regional modernization or a countermeasure arms race, improved ship defense systems, anti-missile systems, improved detection, radar, sensors, and electronic warfare. Cost and sustainability. Mass production means not only building large numbers of missiles, but also maintaining them, spare parts, maintenance, and supply chain integrity, ensuring that all subsystems, electronics, propulsion, e-warheads, maintain high reliability is no easy feat. Export controls and restrictions. Although many components are domestically produced, some elements may still rely on foreign technology or materials, which may be subject to export controls. Furthermore, purchasing countries often require certification, reliability records, training, etc. Testing missiles is one thing. Fully integrating it into doctrine, fleet operations, anti-ship warfare tactics, Rules of engagement, supply chains, and logistics is another matter. Training crews, managing mission planning, targeting, etc. all require time and resources. As ATMACA deployments expand, potential adversaries will develop countermeasures, electronic warfare, decoys, point defenses, and enhanced missile detection and defense. Ensuring ATMACA remains effective in contested conditions, jamming, GPS denial, etc. will require continuous improvement. Neighboring countries and regional powers may view Turkey's increased missile capabilities with concern, which could lead to tensions, arms procurement by other countries, or diplomatic pressure. Furthermore, proliferation concerns could arise, particularly with containerized launchers or more stealthy systems. Stealthy systems.